Member for Calgary, Rocky Ridge. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Well, last week, for the, for the second time in, in two weeks, I had asked the Prime Minister if he would recuse himself from the process of appointing a new ethics commissioner. Uh, in fact, I had asked whether or not he was signaling things to come when they appointed a former Liberal Provincial Cabinet Minister to be the Official Languages Commissioner, and uh, what was next? Were they going to simply just appoint another Liberal, to, or appoint a Liberal to be the Conflict of Interest Commissioner? The on Conflict of Interest Commissioner is currently investigating the Prime Minister, and the investigation is likely to carry on and not be completed at the, when her term concludes. Madam Speaker, the answer that I got was uh, from the Parliamentary Secretary for Multiculturalism was really to ignore the question, which was about the process of appointing an ethics commissioner. Uh, instead, the Parliamentary Secretary uh, dwelled uh, upon defending the official languages appointment, which was uh, uh, bizarre and um, really not defensible and not relevant to the question which I had asked, which was whether or not the Prime Minister was going to appoint a, a Liberal to uh, let him off. Well, the Prime Minister at least did the correct thing insofar as he went when he did recuse himself from the process of appointing a new Ethics Commissioner. But, Madam Speaker, he went and gave that responsibility and directed the government House Leader to appoint the new Ethics Commissioner. Madam Speaker, the government House Leader is the same House Leader that has stood in this House for months defending the unethical conduct of the Prime Minister that appoints her. She is the one who in the House has taken on the responsibility of defending every bit of unethical conduct from her government and is now in the position to appoint the new Ethics Commissioner. Madam Speaker, the conflict of interest at play here is so obvious to everyone, so obvious to all Canadians, and yet the answers that I received when raising this question was, uh, Mr. Speaker, our two official languages are at the heart of uh, who we are as Canadians. <laughs> but, so it's, uh, but so is redefining the process by which we select highly qualified Canadians. So, Strange enough statement where we, we talk about whether an appointment process is uh, as important as uh, our official languages are, um, but uh, both are, are irrelevant. The, what's, what we're, my question was is whether or not this government is going to have an actually transparent, actually fair and proper process for appointing officers to Parliament. We have three officers to Parliament that are um, with terms expiring this summer. The Ethics Commissioner, the Lobbying Commissioner, who, by the way, also has an open investigative file into the conduct of uh, cash for access fundraisers and liberal lobbyists that attend and organize them. We also have the Information Commissioner, whose term expires in July. The Information Commissioner at, at the Ethics Committee expressed her disappointment over the President of the Treasury Board's failure to keep their election promise and enact any uh, and all of the uh, recommendations or any of the recommendations that have made, been made to reform access to information. So I ask again tonight, will the government uh, assure Canadians that they will have a proper and actually transparent process to replace the Ethics Commissioner?